Hi everyone, it's Dave Berman from Daily Laughers back with Laugh of the Day number 267 for September 23rd, 2016. We continue to show you different ways to laugh on purpose every single day to inspire you to have your own daily laughter practice. When you choose to laugh as a form of self-care and exercise every single day, the benefits that you experience like less stress and more joy and better overall health are things that are going to impact the people around you and create a ripple effect. And if we can have a million people creating ripple effects like that, we're really impacting the whole world. And that's why we've been doing this every day, all year long, showing you people from around the world who love to laugh as well. Joining me today from Bourne, Lincolnshire, UK, this is Linda Nightingale. Hi, Linda. Thanks for laughing with me today. <laughs> Lovely to see you today. Now, you have uh, some challenges in your life that lead you to laugh in certain ways and I and I know that it keeps you going and, and keeps you an upbeat happy person that people like to laugh with so I want to get a little bit of your story after you show us some of these ways that you love to laugh all right yeah, yeah. well in the morning um, I look in the mirror every morning and I intentionally make myself laugh and there might be some mornings if I'm in pain whatever that I can be looking through gritted teeth to start with. So I go to the mirror and then I look at myself and I can't help but laugh. So I end up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a daily laugh. I'm a daily laugher too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I start my day in front of the mirror laughing too. I tap on my body all over and I laugh and I jump up and down. <laughs> but I love it. You're a daily That's laugher. Like jumping up and down. In yeah. <laughs> See, there's for our viewers, there's lots and lots of people who already have a daily laughter practice. What else is part of your daily laughter? Um, when I'm walking the dog, I'm hopefully confined somewhere quite secluded on one of the fields around here. I live in a quite rural area. Um, but if I'm walking the dog and I'm feeling like I need a boost, I'll be going around saying, Ho, ho, ha, 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 ho, 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 <laughs> the dog is used to it as well. <laughs> Can you get the dog to clap his paws? <laughs> well, he gives me five. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so you do that while you're out and about. Yeah. Or I, a boot. I, I think I've got a bit of a reputation for being that mad laughing a bit. I'm, it's encouraged a few people to come and and learn what I'm doing. Yeah, so yeah. Good. Well, you are a, a certified laughter yoga teacher and you train new people to be laughter yoga leaders, so why not do that in an informal way every day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it releases all those lovely endorphins and helps me to feel good. And yeah, some yeah. days are challenging, so we all need it, don't we? Well, yeah, yeah, we absolutely do. Um, can you give us one more way that you kind of boost yourself? Well, I do this thing that I made up from some words I heard on the radio, and it's called, it's alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. Alive, it means awake, alert, enthusiastic. Okay, yeah. got it. Not just laughing, but I end up laughing, yeah? So okay. It's, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm awake. I'm awake. Alert. Alert. Enthusiastic. <laughs> Enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm, alive. I'm alive. I'm awake. I'm, awake. I'm, I'm alert. Enthusiastic. enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. And then it goes, I'm alive. I'm alive. Awake. Awake. Alert. alert. 
I'm alert. I'm alert. Awake. Awake. Alive. Alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Awake. Awake. Alive. Alert. Enthusiastic. <laughs> That's delightful. And <laughs> I have some of the people in this town who actually text that to me. I'm not feeling very alive or wake alert, and I send them little messages. <laughs> <laughs> now, you said you heard these words on the radio. Yeah. From whom? It was, it was a celebration of the Brownie centenary. It was a couple of years ago, because I've been doing this for a few years now. Um, we shared it at conferences a couple of times, but... It was probably three years ago, I'm not quite sure, but it was on the radio one morning and I just heard those words and I thought, they're, they're really good because they're positive. Yeah. But that's why I just put the silly actions to it. Right. You can do whatever you want with it, can't you? Sure, yeah. So share with us whatever you're comfortable about the challenges and why, why in your life it's so important for you to go out of your way to take care of yourself with laughter? What is it that you have to do in your in your daily life, your role in life? Um, I, I'm a carer um, for my husband, not as much as it used to be, because he has a heart transplant, but he still has ups and downs a lot. And my daughter, um, who has severe heart disease and heart failure, etc. And... Um, Sometimes life just runs away with me. I don't. I don't always feel in control. I have trained to be a um, holistic therapist. I did that during the time I've been in care for 21 years, I think now. Um, so I've trained. It took me double the time normally it does, but I got there. And I used to use laughter a great deal when they were both really ill at one time together and both really low. And I used to think, I've got to make them laugh because that will lift them. That was before I knew about laughter yoga. So when I heard about laughter yoga, I thought, I meant to do that. <laughs> and I never realized how much it would help me. And it, I was losing my identity. I felt no disrespect to Graham or Kerry. I felt everyone would say, how's Graham? How's Kerry? And I used to feel invisible. And I used to feel like Linda was disappearing. I was, uh, it wasn't because of them it was just because people were seeing only what what was going on with those two and forgetting about me oh. and I felt like my personality was going in and I wasn't bubbly like I always was so learning to do laughter yoga has, has given me a laughter family it's enriched my life every day using laughter to raise my endorphins to it helps with my pain because I have severe arthritis and other conditions. So it helps me. It helps my family. They they laugh at me in lots of ways, but it also <laughs> enhances their life. Uh, are they really laughing at you or with you? Well, I like to think with me. Sometimes it's at me, but <laughs> they actually are quite funny because they'll make fun of me, but actually they enjoy it as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's and a family camaraderie right thing. so uh, to me this is a good example of what I say all the time that when we have a daily laughter practice it will ripple out and impact yeah. the people around yeah. us and so you do this for your own well-being but it's also having a good influence on your husband and your daughter and I can I can relate to your story most people don't know this I've mentioned it in passing a little bit in these videos throughout the year but I, when I started daily laughters I was also a carer or we would say caregiver here in the US and with my mom too taking care of my sister yes. and so you you and my mom have a lot in common and I would love to connect you guys and um, I know that my laughter has been very helpful to me of course and, and hopefully to lots of people around the world I get good feedback usually <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think you know most of all I would hope that it would be something my family regards as good for for them yeah. that you know it's had a good impact on them yeah. it does ripple out <laughs> i think every time 
even when you're not doing just self-love, if you're doing it with a group, every time you do it with a group, it's not just helping them, it's helping you. Yeah. So it's magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What a way to work. Yeah. Well, I, you're, you're an inspiration for me and for a lot of people, I'm sure, and your husband and your daughter are fortunate to have you. Um, we all are, really, to get the opportunity to laugh with you today in this video. Well, thank you. I think it's a big bonus meeting you. I'm my foster family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Yeah, thank oh, you, Linda. So just a, a final... On. Sorry? Carry on laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so just a final word for our viewers. Of course, we'd appreciate you subscribing on YouTube and joining our Daily Laughers Facebook group. And we'll be back with another video tomorrow and every day for the rest of the year. And uh, Linda, thanks again. I'll give you my contact, shall I, at the end some, for my laughter club. Oh, please, yeah, tell us, um, how can people find you to laugh with you? Yeah, on Facebook, Born to Laugh, B-O-U-R-N-E, Born to Laugh. And I'll give you my website details, shall I, after? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Thank okay. you. So, if you're in Lincolnshire, UK, you can go laugh with Linda and come back and laugh with us again tomorrow for another Laugh of the Day video here at Daily Laughers. Thank you. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>